Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today we're going to be talking about, of course, games, lots of games, but how to transport these games. We're going to be talking about the board game truck. This is a Kickstarter that's live right now that has different ways to transport your games, whether you're just carrying one game, you want to keep it just safe out of dust, or you're carrying it into the elements of the weather, or you're carrying two, three, four, five, even more games with a big tank. So let's take a look. I'm going to show you these three different uh, types of ways to carry your games, and I'll see you on the other side. First, we're going to take a look at the flatbed, which is the smallest of the three products here. Now, when carrying all these, you'll see that they have a nice, comfortable material that touches your hand. And then on the ends, it's obviously very durable. Now, you can see the zipper here has another piece of padding right here. So that as the zipper goes and closes, it will never rub up against the games. This keeps it protected. Also, every piece of material here that has this fabric has padding in it, even this and everything that has this has some padding to keep the game safe. I also want to point out the nice matte finish that's on here. It has a lot of friction. It's not going to slide out of your hands. And these were shipped folded up and there's no wrinkles at all. It comes out looking really nice. Hey, there's the standard ticket to rise size box in here. All of these have straps, which keeps the game nice and tight. And the inside of the top has this little mesh where you can place some papers or different things like that. And the sides of these are see-through, so you can see which game they are. So if you have a bunch of them stacked on your shelf or in the bigger bag, which I'll show you later, you can see which game is in there. Also on the right, you can see the zippers themselves are little meeples. Nice, cool touch. And there's a close-up of the stitching of that meeple. Very nice. The next biggest one is called the Bulwark, and this will hold up to a three to five hour gaming session. Now you can fit two larger size boxes in here, like Ticket to Ride and things like that. Or you could fit three boxes in here. I have Dixit in here, I have Ristorante Italia, and I have a smaller game like Garden Dice. And much like the flatbed, it also has this mesh that you can place little pieces of paper. It has the same carrying hand as the flatbed as well. But in addition, it also has this sort of carrying strap, which has a buckle, which unleashes and then allows you to put it on and then straps it in like this. So you can either carry it normal like this, or you can put it on sort of like a backpack like this. Now here's the inside of the tank, which is made to hold four to five large size games. Now both sides of the inside have this nice Velcro strap, which you will then place in these little uh, hardened pieces here that allow it to, to you know, conform to a shape. And you know, you take these out when you want to fold this thing down for storage, but you could also put in different things in there too. You could put some rules and stuff in there too. I could think that would look fine, but there's both of these on both sides of here. Now here I actually have six games. We got the Ticket to Ride size box, Captain Soma America, Takinoko, Trekking the National Parks, and the odd tall size power grid, which also fits in here. You also probably could even put some smaller games back here that has some space. I would then just zipper it shut like this, and then we'll flip it up. We'll see what else this bag has to offer. Now as the bag stands up, we see it has this nice leather type material on the top here to keep it nice and dry. But if we flip this up, you also can fit a bunch of these small games in there. It has this little Velcro strap that keeps everything nice and tight. And I've got four more smaller games in there. Beyond Baker Street isn't even really that small, but it's in here. Why First, The Grizzled, uh, Rolling America. Now, when I look at it from the front, you can see all the games that I put in there earlier. And as I scroll up here, you can see there's a top here that will buckle everything together. So let's see how this works. And so here we have it. We have it all buckled and ready. You can use these straps to then go ahead and tighten this down and you're ready to transport. So here's the back of it here. Now, right now it is put together so that there's something holding it together there with Velcro as one big strap. So you can just carry that if you want, just like normal, or you can undo that and wear it as a backpack. Let's check it out. So here you can just carry it like a normal bag. And here's what it looks like when it's being used as a backpack. Now here you can see both the chest and the waist strap that helps you keep the backpack on keeps it comfortable and keeps it snug as it's adjustable. Now on the bottom of the tank, you can see to keep this in good shape, there's these four platforms that are sort of this rugged material uh, that is okay to touch the ground even when it's wet. 
And this big tank folds all the way down, not to take up a lot of room when you're storing it. And there's the three different products. And you could also, if you wanted to, you could fit four of these in the tank or two of these in the tank to keep them extra protected. All right, so as you can see, three completely different products under the same line, this board game truck, whether you want the flatbed all the way up to the tank, wearing it as a backpack. And as you can see, they're good quality. They can, they can keep things from dust, keep it from the elements. And we're always transporting games, especially if you live in any of those areas that have you know, lots of elements to deal with with the weather. This is an excellent way to keep your games safe and transport them in a cool way. So if this looks interesting to you, go ahead and check out their Kickstarter page. It's live right now. Uh, just click the link that's in the description of this YouTube video below, and I'm sure the people at the board game truck would love that.